It's Nyla. I'm here with Function Factory Performs to give you an update on my C63 I got about a month ago. So yesterday, Charles and I took my car out of black market racing to put it on the dyno to get some baseline numbers. It ended up making 424 wheel horsepower and about 380 pound-feet of torque, which is about 16 to 17% of 507, which is what this car comes stock with. So the whole reason I took my car to black market racing for the dyno was to get the baseline numbers is because about next Monday, we are putting on my new FI exhaust that I got for Christmas. So this exhaust is a active technology Valvetronic exhaust. With this remote, you can turn the valves on, off, or put it in automatic mode so that when you floor the car, the car knows to open the valves. We're hoping that that exhaust is gonna add between 15 to 25 wheel horsepower. That's why we'll see in a little bit. I ended up playing the sim for a long time to practice to take my car to Apex, and it did really well. It did about seven laps before the brakes started wearing out a bunch. We put some Motul 660 in it, and now it's working great. So now I'm gonna leave it up to Charles to tell you all about our black market racing dyno experience. So behind me, we've got Nihilus 2014 Mercedes-Benz C63 507 edition, and we're here at Black Market Racing, and Jeremy and Neil are getting it ready and we're doing a baseline pull. So it's a pretty damn new car, it only has 35,000 miles. So I think this car is gonna make uh, 455. What do you think, Nyla? I don't know, 450, I don't know. All right, she's got 450, I got 455. So we wanna see what the stock exhaust is gonna make versus the five with no tune. So some people don't like to tune their cars, so we wanna, we wanna see and show the difference between the stock exhaust and the modified Phi exhaust that will be available for purchase on our website this week. So let's get to All it. All right, guys. So to get this thing in dyno mode, we're gonna start completely over, right? So you gotta have the door closed, we just found out. So you gotta have the door closed. Take your key, put it in the hole. We gotta pull out, I showed you guys, you gotta pull out your little thingy here, the cover. We're gonna go to position one. So one click. So there's the odometer. You can see the odometer there, right there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold the call button. And okay, here I go. Call, okay. And there it is. So we're gonna go to the second one, dynamo, dynamom test. And we're gonna put, oh, there, there you go. go. So just hit okay and enabled. So yeah, the car's just making power, 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 power. And there we go. There's our final number, guys. So 424 and 376 foot-pounds of torque. We're gonna come back, hopefully the, oh, uh, well, it's New Year's coming up. So we'll be back next week to do some dyno pulls again with the new exhaust. And I'm gonna guesstimate, we're gonna pick up about 15 to 20 wheel horsepower could be less, I don't know. I was pretty off on this one. And then after that, we'll tune the car to see the advantages of a tune with an exhaust versus a completely stock car with an exhaust with no tune. What's up guys, Charles Fritho here, Function Factor Performance, and it is a late night. In Nyla's 507 edition, Mercedes-Benz is getting this awesome Phi exhaust. That was way too dramatic. 
Richie over there is going to help me uh, untangle this this mess of uh, bubble wrap here. And we're going to take out all the protective packaging. Check that out. Really nice hand welds. These are nice TIG welds here. These are the black diamond tips. Little did I know, Nyla likes burnt titanium. Nice little logo up top. They're oval. Again, they look, it's like an OEM plus tip. Sounds pretty sick still. Here are some revs. Wow. That is the stock exhaust guy. That thing's pretty loud pretty, for being stock. Here's the exhaust laid out, and we're gonna have to lay it out again. I don't know why we did this. Very unnecessary, way too Gucci, but I mean, just looking at it, it looks like it's gonna sound rad. So we're looking at the stock system, guys. Mufflers are pretty small. You've got a resonator right here. The Phi system is gonna start here. So this could be a post cat. Again, I'm not the most educated on Mercedes Benz. Richie should know. And there he is. He's on the vlog. And Richie's putting that WD-40 on the goddamn exhaust right here. Zip tie it to nothing? No, I zip tied it to the sub thing. I have zip ties on my car? Yeah. Nice, it makes it faster. That's true. It in. So, after a short, it seems like uh, the exhaust went in, in in an hour, I believe. Rich, you want to think about the fitment? Uh, as far as the install and the exhaust, uh, relatively easy, straightforward, uh, one of the easiest exhausts I've done. Uh, the only time consuming part was the wiring and the uh, vacuum, because uh, there's no, obviously no install guide, so we just had to do it as we went. Other than that, I'm pretty happy. We're gonna do a cold start here for the first time. So he's in the interior right now, just checking the electronics box. Uh, he did a pretty damn good job of hiding everything. So uh, on the electronics box, it actually shows uh, the position of the valves. Uh, with some LED indicators. Yeah. Drum roll, please.
Okay, so the first thing I noticed about it, it's about 20% louder than stock, but the tone of the exhaust is 100% changed. The car sounds fucking exotic. So, damn happy with it. I mean, the tone is like one, it's not even the same as the C63 as, I would say the stock exhaust is real like, kind of muscle car-y. This is more like a little higher pitch, and a lot more, the tone is more redefined. But I had a couple of people tell me on the forums about doing the, the link pipes or the uh, catless headers. And now I can see where they're getting that crazy crackle. And, when, and what it seems like with the link pipes and the, the catless headers, it kind of adds that raspy tone to it. Whereas I feel like this right now is really toned. Like it has like a really aggressive V8 sound, but at the same time it has this sophisticated, like higher pitch to it. So again, I'm fucking really pleased with this. Hey guys, it's Nyla. We're here back at Westworld to give you an update on my C63 507 edition. We just put on my FI exhaust not too long ago and we're gonna give you some sound clips, revs, and some flybys. So this is my Bluetooth FI controller, which controls the valve modes. So if you press this top button, puts it into race mode. And then if you press the bottom button, changes it to street mode, which is a lot quieter. So then if you don't have your remote control with you, you also have a Bluetooth app that pairs with the exhaust where you can change the valve modes just by a press of a button. So right now we're in race mode. And then if you just press street mode and give it a second, it gets a lot quieter. 